Hi, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com, and this is a little tutorial and a video on something I call a bio diorama. And I have it right here, it's pretty much almost complete, and I want to show you a couple of things about it. There is a little uh, Spanish conquistador inside there, he's inside a little cave, and he has a lantern there, so see if you can see that, little lantern lights up. All I did was add an LED and some batteries and a switch in the back. I thought that would be kind of fun because he's lighting up the cave inside. But what this actually is, is what I mean by biodiorama is, and I don't know if that's a phrase that I coined, but oh well, if it, isn't, if it isn't an already coined phrase, I'm coining it. What I did was, I bought a set of, uh, I bought this thing in a toy store where you have a little uh, butterfly treehouse. It's like a, a net that's like a little structure that you, that you hatch butterflies in and you send away for the caterpillars. You get the caterpillars and then you um, watch them turn into chrysalids and then turn into butterflies. And I said, yeah, that's a pretty cool little project, but how can I make it a little bit different? So what I did was I, I, I figured, you know, why don't I put this, why don't I put these uh, caterpillars and chrysalids, butterflies, right into a diorama be kind of unique and kind of neat. So that's, so that's what I've done. I've built this um, diorama here. I, I just... I just got the um, caterpillars in the mail. See if you can see that. Here they are. Here, painted lady butterflies is what they are. So they're inside there, and they're doing good. They're moving around, although they don't move around much. But they will, over the course of the next few days, they will climb to the top and form into chrysalids, which is kind of neat. So <clears throat> I've I've created this diorama with a hole in the top here. So when those um, chrysalids form. And the little cocoons, I'll be able to suspend those right inside that cave. So our little our little chrysalids, the cocoons will be right in here with our adventure inside the cave. And I just think that's kind of a you know a neat little idea. So I will show you a little bit of how I made this diorama. It's really easy. And then as the chrysalids form and the butterflies progress, hopefully I'll be able to get videos of that and I'll show you the whole kit and caboodle, how that how all happens. But one more thing I wanted to say is this this box here actually is something called the Tatabanko box. That's the art of Japanese um, paper dioramas. And I made this. And I have a tutorial, a video tutorial, on how you can make that box. You can use cardstock or um, cereal box or anything like that. And I also have complete instructions that you can download, print up, and use on my website. And I'll put a link into the description of this video. So. So that's how I make it, and I'll show you a little bit, that's the project, and I'll show you a little bit about how I make it. I have my Tatabanko box, and I've opened up the side, and what I made is a square, kind of like a brick, out of foam, and you can do this any way you want, there's all kinds of different ways you can do it, you can use cardboard, you can use paper mache, I just cut out a foam brick, then I cut out the cave, and I cut a circular hole in the top, so when it's time, when the cocoons have formed, I can take the disc out of the little container with the butter with the cocoons in it and put it in here so they'll hang down in our cave. So just to give you a quick look, I'll put this in here. Our uh, enormous butterfly cocoons will be hanging from here and our little adventurers will be in here stuck in the cave with them. So uh, the next thing to do is <coughs> uh, to do the decorating. I'll do a little bit of uh, terrain decorating in there. It'll be fun. I've um painting up my little miniatures and these are Spanish conquistadors and I'll tell you the story about that in a bit and I've worked on my the interior of my diora di the diorama the cave I just you know, carved it out and just painted some basic colors some brown for the ground and the rest of it gray you know kinda like inside a cave so these figures will be going in there along with some other things and I'll show you more to make the various stalagmites in the cave, coming up from the cave floor, all I did was cut out some little pieces of foam and then sand them down to make uh, rough triangles. And then I will glue those in place and paint them. So you can see there I glued the stalagmites down. I, I could do a little bit more terrain work in there if I wanted to. I glued my character down. I ran the wires. I cut a little groove and ran the wires out the back for my little battery pack. See it? And if you can see in there, see the hole? 
that I will put the um, chrysalids through and hang them, suspend them from the ceiling. So that's it, really pretty simple thing. But it adds to me, in my mind, it adds a little bit of, um, you know, makes it a little bit different when it comes to growing some butterflies. Just a neat little project. And uh, so I will keep you posted. You know, if you do if you do order some butterflies, some caterpillars, uh, you think about doing something different like this. And I, I'll keep you posted and let you know how it goes. And I'll show you as those. Um, butterflies as those caterpillars turn into chrysalids and then as they turn into butterflies so lots more uh, fun stuff dioramas all kinds of things on my website at storeonthecastle.com